Water you flush down your toilet is likely going to end up costing you more on your sewer bill next year. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Piggott is live along the river to explain why. Jim. You know, Mary, let me show you. JEA says about 80% of the water that they treat ends up right here in the St. Johns River. Again, it's been treated and they say that it's safe. But now there is state legislation that's being considered that would even outlaw that. So JEA is going to have to make some changes, some costly changes, maybe diverting more water to your lawn's irrigation and possibly to the aquifer for drinking water. Betty Nixon lives near the Buckman Water Reclamation Facility in Talleyrand. She says she never will get used to the bad smell and was relieved to hear that some changes in the treatment process could be coming. She's hoping that could offer some relief. Of course, there's always room for improvement, and I would certainly appreciate it. But that relief could be costly. It will pose a challenge for JEA. 80% of JEA's treated water goes back into the St. Johns River, the rest into irrigation, the special water lines used for lawns and golf courses around Jacksonville, the water that you can't drink. That program would have to be expanded, as well as plans to use some of the treated water to replenish the aquifer to make sure that it would be safe enough to drink. And if the new rules are approved, it would also have to be done very quickly and it could be costly, eventually hitting your sewer bills. It is extraordinarily difficult to think that we would have a billion dollar capital investment plan in a five year period and it not having an impact on rates. The St. John's Riverkeeper keeps a close watch on river projects. Lisa Reinemann says there would have to be more management and possibly more regulations and oversight to make sure that the river will be protected. Because even if they're not dumping directly into the St. John's, the water from JEA could come from other sources, such as runoff from our lawns. Again, this is just a state proposal that's out there. It was almost uh, what passed last year, so they're pretty sure that it would pass in the next legislative session. That's why they're getting ready now. We're live along the St. John's River downtown. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.